I cannot believe it's been a full year since we bought our kitchen appliances and we wanted to do an honest review for you today of the things that we like and the things that we don't like about them and I think we are kind of picky but you're gonna you're gonna get the good and the bad today but first I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video anytime HelloFresh wants to work with us I am so excited because their food is so dang good and it gives me a chance to break out of my recipe rut. Plus, it's pre-portioned, so there's less prep and less waste. What I like to do is I like to leave this brown paper sack on the counter while I'm prepping. And so all of my garbage when I'm done cooking and as I'm cooking will go into this little bag. These meals are great for Chad and I, but they also have larger box sizes for bigger families. More servings, more savings. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10Griffiths to get 10 free meals, including shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10Griffiths to get 10 free meals, including shipping. Well, this was fun. I always like the thing, one of the things I like about HelloFresh and that makes it fun is that we can prepare it together, we can eat it together, and clean up together. And it, it's more than just a meal, it, it almost becomes a like a date mm -hmm. that uh, we, we brings us together and we can... Something to look it, forward to. Oh yeah. Makes makes it kind of special. Yeah, it's not just a yeah. meal, it, it's, uh, it makes it a, an occasion, an event. Yeah. Where were we? Oh yes, an honest review of our kitchen appliances. I love, I love my refrigerator, but I don't like how it gets fingerprints right here. And I, when, these are Chad's speaker prints, because when <laughs> I open the refrigerator door, I go just like this, and I pull it, and I just put my fingers right there in that little groove, and I don't touch this. So whenever I have to clean up the refrigerator, I know that Chad has been at the refrigerator. <laughs> and I just keep a little bottle, this is a big bottle, of rubbing alcohol nearby, and I'll go like this, and, Actually, I'll use it to clean my phone first, and then I'll come over here and these wipe off beautifully with just a little rubbing alcohol. That's all it takes. And then the alcohol dries on my cloth. It's just it's easy. <laughs> okay, the other thing that I love about this refrigerator is that it is so simple it's it's so plain it clean. doesn't it's yeah Chad just says it's clean it's clean I did not want a water dispenser I did not want an ice dispenser on the door I just wanted it nice and clean and this is not a very big refrigerator this is one of the smaller refrigerators but I know I can get as much in my refrigerator as my daughters can in their great big refrigerators and I think it's because I've got this nice wide shelf and we had a, a pot of stew yesterday I made a huge pot and you can keep them in the refrigerator if it's in stainless steel and so I just like an area where I can set my kettle in here I've got um, two gallons of milk I've got a couple hello fresh bags left I've got candy from Calvin and Buff and all pop and stuff from the weekend from Christmas break. I like these drawers down here. It's I, just... I like that they're clear so you can see what you yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and these, I can put a gallon of milk in this over here if I want to, but I don't. I just put my condiments and butter and things over there. That, that bell is when you leave the door open accidentally. If you walked away, it would chime. It'll chime here in a minute or two. I like the LED lights. And I like that they're flat up against the thing. Mm -hmm. and they, the, the old light that used to you know, hang from the top, you'd always hit, the, hit that yeah. with a gallon of milk or pop. 
I cannot say enough good about this refrigerator. It's an LG, and I just, I just really like it. My old refrigerator yeah, was an Amana, and it was a good one too. It lasted me 24 years, so. And the, re the freezer, there's nothing fancy about it. It does a good job of keeping up with making ice, and that's all we really wanted. We just didn't need a whole lot also, I like that it is a single door. I just wanted one door and that's what I got. And it was under $1,000. So, hey, I know refrigerators are really expensive. And so to get one for, that I love for under $1,000, I think that was a great deal. Uh, the drawback, but I have to take it because that's why I've got room in there. But the drawback is it sits out in my room too far, I think. I wished we'd have built the house so it could have slid back and been a little more uh, plush with the cabinetry, but it's not, so the, you know, we have to live with that. But I just, I don't have anything bad to say about this LG refrigerator. I like it a lot. This is a Bosch dishwasher and we've had it for a few years now. And again, we can't say enough good about this Bosch dishwasher. It's, um, it's just quiet. And when it's running, to know that it's running, you'll see a little red light shine down there. And that's basically how we know that the appliance is working is that light. And when it's not, um, it'll be flashing. Like if, if I've shut the door and forgot to turn it on, it'll just flash. So all the controls are right here. Um, looks like they're drying. But all of the controls are across here. And you know, I only use like normal and I'll use extra dry. And that's about it. Chad used the half load the other day. I'll, I'll use the half load and the extra scrub. But, but yeah, yeah, okay, so if you yeah, if you look at the red light now, it's flashing because we've interrupted it. I like that the interior is stainless steel. It's, it's always clean. Once in a while, I'll wipe up a little spill around the edge down here, but this stays nice and clean. When we bought this, we thought we were going to be purchasing white appliances down the road, and we didn't. And so I do wish we'd have bought this in stainless steel, but I like that I don't have to wipe fingerprints off of it. It's nice and clean. And I don't care if it matches in here. I think it looks just fine. So the other thing that we didn't know that we were going to like when we got it, we thought, oh, what a, what a stupid thing to put in. Uh-uh. We just really like this rack. It is, we put our silverware in here like so. Um, no, you don't just drop them into a basket, but when you're done and you're ready to put things away, it is so easy to just gather up the knives, and gather up the forks. So, and it's got this a little top here to put things like this in. We had eggs this morning. It, uh, poached eggs. I just, I just really, really like it. I've never, ever had to open it up and have a Tupperware that's been flipped upside down full of water or it just, every time I go to unload it, the dishes are dry and um, I don't have any complaints at all. The thing I like most about this LG stove and oven is the beautiful oven. This just makes me happy every time I open the door. I haven't used the oven clean, in fact I've only used it once. I've cleaned the oven with the um, self-cleaning. Yeah, the self, I've used the self-cleaning oven once because I'm just, uh, I, I just, I, I, this is my baby and so whenever I have spills down here and I'm done, well there's a little bit right there, I will come down and I'll wipe it 
not even need to get that. I'll wipe up my oven as soon as I get, well, when I'm doing the dishes, I'll wipe up the oven. So I really like that, okay? And I really like, I really like how this is one big, nice surface. The thing that I do not like, and I think it's just that way with all stoves, is sometimes, well, now it turned on, but sometimes when I turn this on, it'll just sit and click. And that's what my old oven did too. It'll do that. So I think that's just inherent of gas stoves. But I like it. And I like, I, I generally use this burner because it's a, a big hot burner. And I don't use very many of them. I'll use these two. I never use the center burner. But that's okay. We've got a, it's one nice surface. So that's okay. I really, it's easy to clean. It's easy to take the knobs on and off. It's easy to just get some soapy water and wash the stainless steel down. I just really think it cleans up nice. The grates come off and go back on nicely. And I will sometimes use a little bit of alcohol on the front screen of this to shine it up and get the fingerprints off. But in overall, I like it. Oh, there's one thing you don't like about it. I know that. And that yeah. is, I'm talking Chad. Yeah. <laughs> and that is when you set the oven, you set your cook time, you, you, I hate these controls. I do not like these controls because you'll turn the oven on and you'll think the oven's on, and then 10 minutes later you go back to the oven, it's not on, it's because you forgot to hit start. So you Okay, I think what she's trying to say <laughs> is that she has not preheated her ovens several times because of this knob right here. When you turn it from off to bake, then you need to set your temperature, and you use the little plus there to get it up to the temperature that you want. Okay, that's that's what you would normally do. You turn your oven on, set the temp, and away you go, right? No, uh -uh. it's just gonna sit there until you hit the start button. Why do you have to push the start button when you've already turned it from off to bake and you set the timer uh, or, or the temperature to where you want it. That is exactly right. And I don't know why after a full year, I still walk away from the oven and forget to hit start. Maybe it's the same reason I walk away from the stove and leave it running. Oh, we'll cut that. Okay. Um, the other thing, it's got a little, it's got a little uh, shield back here. And I think that's wimpy. I wish my granite came all the way across the top here. But it does have this shield, and I do think that's kind of wimpy. The bottom line with my gas range is I would buy it again. It, I would give it maybe four and a half stars. I would take a half a star off because I do not like the way this panel is right here. But other than that, I like it a lot. So while we're here, the LG microwave, I really like it, and I think Chad really likes it. Chad likes the... What do you like, Chad? You there's, like the popcorn. There's, there's lots of things. I, I like the popcorn uh, option because uh, it, it seems to work real well. You put your bag of popcorn in there, hit that, and it seems to know exactly how much it needs. Another thing I like about it is that you can turn your uh, turntable on and off. If you've got something in the microwave that's kind of big and bulky that you don't want it to turn around because it, there's just not enough room, you can turn that table off so it's not fighting that when it's going. Uh, I also like the the power level. I uh, I read somewhere a long time ago that the best way to reheat uh, items in your microwave is to you know set your time you know one minute, two minutes, thirty seconds, or whatever. But you hit power level seven, and that reheats things really evenly. Uh, mm -hmm. Things so it's not you know, boiling in the middle and cold on the outside. The thing I don't like about it is this panel is always ugly because there's always fingerprints on it. So if you can have clean hands and touch this. Anytime you touch this, you're leaving the fingerprints behind and I don't like it. 
but I'm always I'm always taking a little alcohol and wiping that down and trying to keep it nice. But yeah, I don't like finger fingerprints. But overall, I'd buy it yeah. again. Well, another thing I don't like about it is the light. Is you've got two lo levels, uh, high and low, and I've replaced the light with an LED light because the halogen was so dim, even on the bright setting, and even with the uh, LED light, that light is not very bright. No, it isn't. Uh, you know, if you want a dim light, yeah. put it on dim, but yeah. the the light on it's pretty it, wimpy. It's, it's great for a night light, but it doesn't light up your cooking surface down here. That's yeah, but you know, it was. Under two hundred dollars, wasn't it? Yeah. Around two hundred dollars. We we paid just a little bit extra to have the um, the timer. Oh yeah, yeah you to, like the timer. I like the timer on it to. So really, for the for the money, I like it a lot. Okay, I know that these appliances are much older than one year, but I still have to give them a shout out. These wash this washer and dryer set is twenty five years old. 25 years old and I would not trade this set for any of those new front loaders. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. So, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's held up really nice. It keeps, it washes my clothes. It uses water. Can you believe that? It actually uses water to wash your clothes. Anyway, I, I, and I, even these settings, I hardly use any of them. I, I set it to here or once in a while, put it over here on delicate. Generally, I leave it on the warm cold. I'll either have it on extra small, medium, or large. And that is, that, these are Maytags, and I don't think they make them like they used to. I would pay extra. I would pay more to fix these than I would to buy a brand new set. That's how much I like my Maytag washer and dryer. And I've replaced, I think over the years, I've replaced a timer once and a, oh, I don't think I've ever done anything with the motor, but I've done the timer over here. There's one or two things that I've had to have replaced on it, but you know, it's got, um, it's got gum hardened on to the, a couple of the paddles Probably one of the kids left chapstick or something in their pockets, and I can't get it off. But dang, I like this washer and dryer set. Maytag, make us another set. Thank you so much for watching our video today, and give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to hit subscribe. And thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video as well. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.